I know that a lot of people are excited and uh, happy and thrilled with the fact that the Switch is very successful. I am one of them guys. I, I feel like Nintendo has struck oil with the Switch. Uh, they have found that sweet spot that I was talking about, and that the Switch is addressing most gamers' needs. It's, it has the graphical capability that is uh, good enough. Um, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. And then you can also switch, take it out the dock, disconnect from the TV, and have the same AAA gaming experience on the go. This is the switch. It's, it's just... It's, it's perfect for gaming right now. And, and the sales and the interest is all suggesting that Nintendo has struck oil. But this is my problem. If Nintendo don't get this online situation right and get it right real soon, Nintendo is opening the door up for the competition to capitalize on their one area of weakness. <laughs> you best believe Microsoft and Sony see the oil that Nintendo has struck with the Switch. Matter of fact, Microsoft is actually asking, asking, and and uh, uh, you know, seeking the thoughts and the feelings from their fan base and those who they sent out surveys to, asking them about the Switch, what they like about it, and a whole bunch of things. This is Microsoft asking about the Switch to their consumers and to those who who um, frequent their site or frequent their stuff, they're asking about the Switch. Sony's already shown that <clears throat> they want you to know that they have ideas here as well with their own portable device, maybe a Vita 2, PSP 3, whatever, I don't know. But they have, they have shown that they are not um, out of the loop of this as well because Nintendo has literally struck oil. Just like when they struck oil with motion controls, the other companies responded with their own uh, entry into that space. So Nintendo can't sit around here and play games and allow this to be the thing that allows the other companies to trump them where they have found success. Nintendo has already found success, so Sony and Microsoft see that there is money to be made in this space. And yes, they will make sure that their online is there, ready to go day one. And that's the problem that people don't get, is that Nintendo can't keep playing games and can't keep treating online and these type of functions as a second thought or as the uh, we get that together as we go along type of situation. Now, this stuff needs to be together. And this Ori headset, which triggered all this, is just another uh, <laughs> wood on the flame of Nintendo not properly preparing themselves for what goes on in modern gaming, even though the Switch is a great system. And I want it to continue to be successful, but Nintendo is setting themselves up for that to be derailed if they don't quickly get their act together. Now, I don't know all what's going on with their online, and I'm sorry, but potential is <laughs> just that, potential. I understand it. I, I, I shout out to Terrell. I understood his video. He had a good video, but I still have to say potential is just that. It's potential. And until it's realized, th that's all it's going to be. It's going to be, it could be, it could be good. It could be better. It could be awesome. And at the same time, it could be horrible. It could be uh, 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 um, not fully worked out, not fully supported. If they are not honestly and earnestly uh, trying to deal with online services like the competitors 
do it. And I believe the podcast, when we talked about it, this is what we were trying to say. We don't know what Nintendo was doing. We made that clear from the gate. We don't know what Nintendo is doing. So we're not saying this is what Nintendo is going to do. We're saying if this is Nintendo's approach, then it's not a good approach. And that's the only, I mean, that's the voice chat aspect. If Ori's headset is any indication to what Nintendo is thinking, then it's not good. Because you're adding more convoluted and, 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 and more than you unnecessary stuff that you should not have to be doing in today's gaming space. It just shouldn't be. When <laughs> you have, an, and John Shaw made a good video, when you have devices that's five, six years old, weaker, that can do it right from the device. This is not the first portable device we have ever seen, people. The DS could do voice chat. Shouts out to Ms. T and others who showed that. Um, the Vita could do voice chat. So how in the world is Nintendo, and, and Jedi Knight made the perfect uh, um, observation, I did too. How do you have the latest um, modern stuff in the Switch, like USB-C uh, USB type, and you have all this in the Switch, it's modern as all can be, and you don't have voice chat ready to go, you don't know how you're gonna approach voice chat, we don't know how you're gonna approach it. This stuff should have been there day one, but we gave them passes, because we tend to like to do that for Nintendo, I gave them a pass, uh, letting them get their act together. Nothing wrong with that. But here we are, a week away from E3, and all we know is what they're potentially going to do <laughs> with their online service. We still don't know how they're going to address voice chat. Yeah, it's all through an app. They really ain't explained to us how that's going to work. Now it's delayed. That's good that it's delayed because that showed me that Nintendo, I think Nintendo saw that backlash from Ori's headset. I believe that Ori uh, headset is an indication of what Nintendo might have been planning on doing something close to that. Because I don't think Ori would just jump out there and do something like that without feeling comf confident about doing it. I don't think Ori wants a, a device that's going to easily be uh, uh, irrelevant when you can, uh, if Nintendo come with a whole different approach. So I believe Nintendo delayed this stuff because of that backlash. So it says to me that Nintendo, now that the Switch is ultra successful, is realizing that they gotta get this thing right. I don't believe they thought the Switch was gonna be this successful. And by it being this successful, online could derail all that. Because as they move deeper into the Switch life, more of these games are starting to become online dominant games. Splatoon 2 is going to be an online dominated game. ARMS is going to be an online dominated game. Mario Kart is mostly an online dominated game. Smash Brothers is an online dominated game. So Nintendo have a lot of games that are going to be online dominant. Plus you have all the games that you are doing um, that you're going to be putting up that you can get for buying a service that's going to supposedly have online features added into the game. Yeah, that all sounds good on paper, but if you don't actually have that in a good working space, then that potential of being good is now all ultimately uh, can sabotage the success of your system because the day gamer, most of them won't online. So, I'm sorry, but this is something we gotta look at from a serious perspective. We can't always find a reason to give Nintendo a pass. I'm being patient, I'm giving them time to get it right, but I'm just saying they gotta get it right. This ain't, this, no, they can't not flub up on this one again. They gotta get online right. And they gotta get it right fast. Like I said, 
Them folks see the oil spewing out of the ground of Nintendo with the Switch. Sony is surveying the land and they see oil. They see dollars. Microsoft is seeing dollars. And Microsoft and Sony sees an area where Nintendo is lacking and they will capitalize on that area. And they will make sure that you have all the bells and whistles that you need. Keith Norris made a good uh, observation in a podcast where he said Nintendo constantly scraps what they have and then starts over every system. Like virtual counsel and all this stuff which should maybe should have been just transferred over the same system from the Wii to the Wii U now to the Switch should all be improved upon, not totally scrapped or mostly scrapped and then rebuilt on another system where Sony and Microsoft basically everything is brought up. They ain't scrapping it, they bringing it too, so they don't have to start over. They continue to add to what they've already built. The infrastructure is built, is there, supported. They have a fan base that's supporting it and liking it. They're not scrapping it and forcing you to go a whole different way where Nintendo has great stuff and then they scrap it and then force you to go a whole nother way. That's what's one of the big problems is they never stick to things that are successful that they do. <laughs> Red Knight said it before with, re- with motion control. Motion controls only needed HD graphics. <laughs> but we got the gamepad, which I like the gamepad. We got the Wii U. Maybe we should have got the Wii U with HD powerful system with motion controls. Maybe the gamepad was a bad move. I don't know. I'm just saying. They have six, they strike oil and then they do something to just cause the oil that they strike struck to be counseled out some kind of way. And I'm, I don't want to see that with the Switch. Like I said, potential is great, but it's unproven. So until they prove it, no, we cannot say it's better than Sony's and Microsoft's online infrastructure because them both are proven. I still don't feel like it's worth 50 bucks, but it is proven. We can't say Nintendo has the potential. We don't know, what, yeah, everything has the potential, but that don't mean it will be. And we can't defend, and I'm not saying Terrell or anybody, I'm just using Terrell's potential because he's right. It does have the potential to be better. But what I'm saying is, while it does have the potential to be better, it also has the potential to be worse. <laughs> And Nintendo hasn't shown us any indication that we should put confidence in it being better or being on par. My thing is it it needs to be on par. It needs to be right there or a little under it. So anyway, with that being said, I'm hoping that Nintendo uh, gets this online aspect to their system together. I'm hoping that this delay is them addressing the outcry from the Ori headset. I'm hoping that they see that this is not going to be good, this is not going to suffice, this is not going to be accepted by not only Nintendo fans, but those who are interested in the Switch but want to make sure that all the stuff that they enjoy for online is also available for the Switch. This stuff needs to be tailored. And, and, and built into the system of the Switch. It should not be forced to use an app. That's cool, but this is nothing new. This has already been done. Both Microsoft and Sony allows you to use apps to control the online. It should not be forced to be using an app for the Switch. That should not be when this stuff is not new. Look at your competitors, see what they're doing, take what they're doing right, and use that as your foundation. That's all Nintendo has to do. And then let your Switch continue to be the all sputing money-making system that it is. Don't derail it with stupidity. Don't derail it with being stubborn for no reason. Now, I went longer than I wanted to, so I'm gonna stop talking, but I need y'all opinion on this. I'm so thrilled with the success of the Switch. I don't wanna see this small thing derail it 
And I don't want to see the other two companies do what Nintendo should have done. That, that'd be horrible. Not, and this ain't Council War stuff. This is just, I'm just saying. I got all these systems. I like them all. Nintendo, yeah, I have preference for Nintendo games. But I don't want to see the Vita come and do the exact same thing and then do what Nintendo did not do. That would be bad. And it would make Nintendo look bad. And then they'll be back in the same position they was in all these years. They have done something great with the Switch. Get this online right and get it right fast. Anyway, this is your boy Levelhead signing out. Till next time, deuces.